So to place it along the spectrum, we talk a lot about how a lot of what you're going to get from your annual physical and a lot of these measurements are really looking for signs of disease or overt problems, right? We're not looking for traffic jams. We're looking for accidents. Even if you get like a, a vitamin D or a B12 or a folate from your annual physical, they're looking for deficiency. But we know that deficiency isn't what we're shooting for. The lack of deficiency is that's not the same as optimization, right? We want to optimize the system and we want to look for any of those early indicators of need for support. We don't want to wait to the traffic jam. We want to see when there's backups happening, be able to intervene earlier. And also, I feel like it's so interesting because what those once a year lab tests don't take into account is that our body has a dynamic need for different nutrients based on different conditions. I think about in very high stress periods of life, you might be burning through a lot more micronutrients to make particular hormones and may need to support the body more. Or there's probably a million examples like that or maybe you need more amino acids because of whatever workout regimen you're doing. Just looking at a single raw number of like a level of a B vitamin or something, it may not actually be meeting your particular need. And that's what this test can kind of show you more detail on. 